Cancer, spiritual cause and cure. Cancer, an abnormal growth of cells which tend to increase in an uncontrolled way and, in some cases, to metastasize, spread. Cancer is a group of more than 100 different distinctive diseases and can involve any tissue of the body and have many forms in each body area. If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. Exodus 15, 26. Moses is speaking to the children of Israel, chosen to represent us, the people, who have failed to put their trust in Moses, symbolizing the Spirit of God. Ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Spirit. As your fathers did, so do ye. Acts 7, 51. If we, the people, would have given ear, obeyed the commandments which contain the statues, we would not be plagued with these diseases. It is not God that puts these diseases upon us. It's our own spiritual disobedience. Egypt symbolizes the world. The Egyptians, the people of the world. When the children of Israel disobeyed the Ten Commandments, they were given the 613 commandments, the ten contained in the 613, which is found in the math, 6 plus 1 plus 3 equal 10. Disobeying the ten, which are spiritual commandments, gives power to the negative and destructive energy that causes the disease. To prevent this destructive spiritual, mental and emotional energy from moving into the body requires a remission, a lessening in the degree or intensity of this unhealthy energy. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. Acts 2, 38. In the previous heir of Isaac, being physically baptized in the literal name was enough to put the sin, the negative and destructive energy that causes cancer and all other diseases, in remission. But we are now in the spiritual heir of Jacob, in which spiritual immersion in the spiritual name is needed for the remission of sin. The spiritual name is truth. When tempted by the Pharisees, as to which was the greatest commandment, Jesus brought them down to one, found in the math, by adding the numbers. Six plus one plus three equals ten equals one plus zero equals one. That one law is love. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. And the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Matthew 22, verses 37 and 39. Love has no power until it is directed toward someone or something. How did God demonstrate his love for us? By giving us Jesus, the truth personified. How do we love ourselves? By giving ourselves truth. Under the carnal law, if you break one commandment, you are guilty of breaking them all. But if we obey the first of God's spiritual commandments, thou shalt have no other gods before me, we obey them all. The other gods symbolize the false beliefs that generate the negative and destructive energy that causes the disease. False beliefs are the cause. Truth is the cure.